I'm about to show you how you can turn any visitor on your website into a paying customer. This simple yet effective marketing strategy will help you grow your e-commerce business to new numbers you previously thought were impossible. The best part is that you can get started for completely free. No paid ads or anything. Let's be real, not everyone that visits your website is ready to buy, but we can change that. We'll be winning back any lost sales using the power of email marketing. I'll lay everything out for you in this step-by-step -step video so that you can get the same results on your own stores. My name's Alex if you're new, and without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Having a strong email and SMS marketing system in place will increase your conversion rate on your store because you're warming up new customers to your brand. Let's be real, not everyone who goes on your website is ready to complete their purchase. Some customers need to be nurtured, warmed up to your brand, given some sort of an incentive to come back and complete their purchase, or maybe they just got distracted and left your website and they need a simple reminder. So all of those abandoned carts and initiated checkouts that you see can easily become paying customers with the right strategy in place. And the way you can win all of those customers back and close the sale almost every time is having a strong abandoned cart sequence in place, which we'll cover in just a moment. So like I already mentioned, email marketing is just a simple way to nurture your customers and get them warmed up to your brand. You can increase your brand awareness, build trust with your customers, and simply increase your conversions. Now you always want to have new subscribers on your list that are ready to buy from you, and I'll show you how to do all of that as well. Now the app that I use for all of my email marketing is called Omnisend. You can look up Omnisend on the Shopify app store, or I'll just leave a link for you down below to make it even easier. So click the link I have for you down below and it'll take you to this page right here where you can get started with Omnisend. You guys can see right away that email marketing has the highest ROI or return on investment for any source of marketing out there. You guys can see that in 2023, on average, every marketer on Omnisend made $72 for every dollar they spent on email and SMS marketing. This is more than Facebook ads, Google ads, even TikTok ads combined. Now the best part about using Omnisend is that they actually have a free plan that you can use to get started with. You can always upgrade as you go, but the free plan has everything you're gonna need to get started with email and SMS. You guys can click that start free button right here and we'll go ahead and sign up for Omnisend. So you're gonna fill out this page right here. You'll just type in your name, the name of your business, your website, We'll click continue. So once you guys finish answering all of those questions and signing up for Omnisend, you'll be taken to this dashboard right here where you can integrate with Shopify with just a couple of clicks. So make sure you guys do that. And once you have everything integrated and ready to go, you guys can go ahead and select forms right up here at the top. We're gonna create a sign up form to be displayed on our website. That way we can capture the email address of every visitor on our website and turn them into our paying customers. So once you guys select forms, we're gonna view all forms by clicking this button right here. You guys can see all of these different options that we have down here. You guys have different form types, different incentives, discounts that you can offer. This is a really popular one right here, the branded Wheel of Fortune. Your customers can spin this wheel and get some sort of a discount. Let's go ahead and go with this one. This is a fun incentive that you can offer in exchange for your customer's email address. We'll select use template. So to get started, you'll click on this wheel right here. You'll set up your wheel slices. You can create all the different slices that you see right here, the discount codes, and the probability that it lands on each one of these discounts. Once you guys have all of this filled out, simply save right here. And you guys can customize everything else to do with this form. You guys can change the text that's displayed, you can change the colors to align with your brand. You guys can add any elements that you would like to. You guys can also customize the success message that you see right here. This is the screen that your customers are taken to once they enter their email and sign up for your list. Then you guys can actually go through and edit the behavior of this actual form. You guys can change the scheduling, the targeting, the devices that it's shown on, as well as the frequency, and so much more. When you guys have this customized to your liking and you're ready to publish it, simply select this green button right up here at the top and you guys are ready to go. All right, you guys now have a pop-up form displayed on your website to capture your visitors' email addresses, add them to your list, and market to them later. Now let's set up our abandoned cart series so we can win back customers who have shown interest in our brand but haven't yet completed their purchase. Some customers just need a little push to come back and make that order. This can be some sort of an incentive like 10% off, just a reminder maybe they forgot, 
or maybe you need to build a little more trust with them. This can all be done within our abandoned cart series. So to set up and build our abandoned cart series, we're gonna go ahead and select automation right up here at the top. We're gonna to explore all workflows. We'll look at cart abandonment and we'll select our abandoned cart right up here at the top. So you guys can see how this entire workflow is set up right here. Customers will enter the workflow when they add one of your products to their cart and they'll exit as soon as they place an order or start their checkout. You guys can see the first email is sent right here right away. If they still don't complete their purchase after 11 hours, they receive another email. 12 hours after that, if they still don't complete their purchase, they'll receive a third email from you, offering them 15% off their order. And you guys can customize everything to do with this flow. You can change the wait times, you can edit all the emails, you can edit the subject line, the content of the email, and everything else. You guys can add SMS flows to this sequence, push notifications, or additional emails. You can add delays, splits, and A-B testing to see which converts the best. And you can always go back and reference your stats to see how it's performing. That way you can make any changes that you need to down the line to increase your conversion rate. So for example, we'll go ahead and click on this first email that they receive right here. We'll change the subject line to, I think you may have or got something. You guys can add emojis to that. You can change the pre-header, the sender name, the sender email address. You can go ahead and edit the content of the actual email. So this is the actual email your customers will receive when they add an item to their cart but don't complete their purchase. You'll wanna customize everything on here, including your logo, your brand colors, and everything else to do with this email. Once you guys have all of this customized to your liking, you can go ahead and save that and continue editing the rest of the flow. You guys can change this wait time right here from 11 hours to six hours if you wanna be a little more aggressive with this flow. So make sure you guys edit and approve every little item on this email flow before you publish it. You guys can offer additional incentives to make them come back and complete their purchase, like higher discounts, buy one, get one offers, free shipping, or anything that you can come up with. It's a really good idea to A-B test different offers and incentives to see which one converts best and resonates with your audience. Because no matter what niche you're selling in, your audience will react differently to different offers. And once you guys have all this customized to your liking, you can enable this flow by clicking this button right up here at the top. So we're gonna stay here under the automations tab and we're gonna set up one more workflow. And this will be your welcome series. This way you can warm up new customers to your brand, nurture them with this series and have them come back to purchase even more from you. To get started with this, we're gonna select create workflow up here at the top. We're gonna go ahead and select our welcome workflow right here. And once again, you guys can customize every little aspect of this workflow. You guys can see that customers enter this workflow as soon as they sign up to your marketing form and they'll exit as soon as they place an order. So this way you can offer even more incentives, give them discounts and give them a good experience with your brand. So you guys can see how simple this workflow is right here. A minute after signing up for your email form, they'll receive this email and that's it. You're just giving them 10% off and telling them exactly what your brand is about. You guys can add SMS and push notifications, additional emails and delays. You can do A-B testing. There's so much you can do in each one of these workflows. You can select this email right here. You can edit your subject line, your pre-header, your sender name and the actual content of the email to your liking. Once you guys have everything set up there, you're gonna enable it with this button right up here. Now that you guys have all of these automations and forms set up for your store, let's talk about sending promotional emails and SMS campaigns. This way you can sell your products to your email list any day of the week. To get started with this, we're gonna select campaigns right up here at the top. We're gonna go ahead and create our first email campaign with this button right here. And it'll take you to this page right here where you can set up your subject line, your sender name, your sender email address, your pre-header, your campaign name, and edit the actual content of your email. Now, how do you come up with ideas for promotional emails? Let's talk about that real quick. One strategy that I like to use is to go on a website like National Today. This will show you all these made up holidays and national events so that you can keep up with trends and send out promotional emails that relate to any of these events. So you guys can see right here that these are all the national holidays for today. Say you guys are like an outdoor or a beach brand and you guys can see that it's World Snorkeling Day right here. You guys can come up with some sort of an offer around that. You guys can highlight your swimming and beach products. Or say you're in the automotive niche and you see that it's Henry Ford's birthday, you can make some sort of a fun incentive there by offering them 15, 20% off 
with a customized coupon code. The key here is just being creative with your email campaigns and using any of these events to your advantage. So once you guys have all of that filled out, you can see all these email templates down here that you can use for your promotions. There's different events, there's different types. You guys have newsletters, you guys have discount codes, you guys have product launches, and so much more. So you guys just wanna offer some sort of a discount code on a random day of the week. You guys can use this template right here. So once you guys select this template, you're gonna customize everything else within this email. You're gonna change your logo, you're gonna select the actual discount or incentive that you're offering your customers. You guys can highlight some of your best selling products down here and you guys can customize this entire email with your brand colors and just make it flow really well for them. And you guys can see all of your options over here on the left hand side. You can edit the header, you can add images, you guys can add product listings and so much more. Once you guys have that customized to your liking, you guys can select this green button right up here at the top and we're gonna send it to our list. You guys can choose if you wanna send it to all of your email subscribers or if you wanna select certain segments. So if you guys offer multiple types of products, it's very easy to divide your list into different groups so you know which customers to target for which campaign. For this example, we'll just send it to all of our subscribers. We'll review our campaign right here. You guys can select if you wanna send it now or if you wanna schedule your email to be sent out at a later date and time. And then you can simply schedule your campaign with this button down here. Now, once you guys start sending out promotional emails and SMS campaigns to your customers, you can go back to your dashboard you can select overview right here and you can track the performance of it. You guys can see the revenue you're generating from Omnisend, from your different campaigns, your automations. You can see your audience growth, your email subscribers, your SMS subscribers, and you can track how everything is performing. It's always a good idea to reference these reports so you can make any needed changes down the line. So you guys wanna take advantage of any holiday promo or event that you can capitalize on and you want to email your customers multiple times per week. Unless you feel like you're bugging them, you aren't sending out enough emails. You do this because you have to remind your customers about your brand and your products. You're not always on the top of their mind. And by sending out multiple campaigns per week, you're weeding out any uninterested customers, people that won't come back and buy from you again. So you guys can use these email and SMS campaigns to highlight new products educate your email list, or just simply entertain them. You guys wanna be creative with any new campaign you send out and always A-B test so you know what performs the best. So overall, what you should have taken away from this video is that email marketing offers the highest ROI or return on investment for any source of marketing out there. It helps you close any lost sales and win back your customers. And it helps you build a good overall brand feel around your store. And it's that simple. Using the strategies that I showed you in this video can add thousands of dollars every single day to your revenue. And these are sales that you otherwise would have missed out on before. This is a lot more important than just running paid ads or organic marketing. You need to nurture your customers and warm them up to your brand and incentivize them to come back and complete their purchase. Like I already mentioned, I'll leave a link for you down below so you can get started with Omnisend and get the same exact results. You now have all the tools you need to win back your customers and increase your sales, all with email marketing. Follow the exact steps in this video and let me know how it works for you. E-commerce is a complicated landscape and it's getting harder to win over new customers, which is why you must focus on email and SMS marketing. And Omnisend makes it super easy to get started. Once again, I'll leave a link for you down below where you'll also find helpful resources like my free course, winning products newsletter, and so much more. If this video helped you in any way, consider leaving a like, sharing with others, and subscribing for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.